When the first attack happened on Saturday at a meeting called Art, Blasphemy and Freedom of Expression, it was half past three in the afternoon. Now, a member of the group called Femen was on stage, Ina Shevchenko. She was talking about free speech. And she spoke to me earlier from Paris, where she lives in political asylum. She told me what happened next. I was in the middle of my speech and I just mentioned um, the point that very often in Europe we have an illusion that we can fully enjoy freedom of speech. And then I said that um, sometimes, well, al always there will be, uh, there will be opinion that, of course, we do agree with an idea of freedom of speech, but... And why do we say but when we talk about freedom of speech? And then the shots started. And I think that, uh, I think that ironically, we can say that that was a huge but for celebration of freedom of speech. The shooting started. I mean, what, was, what did you think as you heard it? Did you realize what was going on? You know, I think that uh, because of developing this uh, sense of being prepared for this, this kind of attack any moment because of uh, experience and because of uh, permanent, constant death threats that you receive, uh, I think that I, I can say that I, I thought something could happen at one of the events or just simply um, any day. And when the shot started, I... I didn't really, I didn't, I, I thought, well, maybe it's a joke or it's a sound of, I don't know, fireworks or something else. And uh, I think that so uh, exactly the same people were thinking and nobody really reacted in the first seconds. I stopped, I stopped talking and uh, I realized that, okay, that was a gun. And um, I, I was the first who fell down on the floor under the stage and then people, People were falling on the floor, hiding under the table, under the tables. Um, they were covering themselves with jackets, just desperately trying to, to protect themselves this way. Time must have stopped in your head as this, this whole thing was occurring. But look, just tell us what you were going to say at the end of that, that sentence. We, 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 we talk about free speech and then we use this word but. And I think a lot of people do think there are sort of limits to free speech, don't, don't, don't they? But you, you take a more pure view of this, don't you? What I really dream about right now, that despite the fear, the voices of liberals would, will be much louder than the, vo than the sounds of those bullets. Because again, very important to understand why Charles Hebdo became target. Why are the cartoonists become target? Why many activists are becoming target right now? Because at some level, they are very lonely voices. If everybody, if all newspapers would publish cartoons, if everybody would be able to, would, would not mind to publish those drawings or um, publish those slogans or talk about, about those topics, those people would not become a target. And right now we would not count how many victims we already have, and we would not mm. wonder how many victims we will have in future. Ina Shevchenko, that was quite a speech you were making on Saturday, and thank you for uh, expressing it here. Thank you very much indeed. Nice to talk to you. Thank you.